Yeah, what's up, yo? It's Beers Gone Bad. But the beer flows like wine. I'm your host, Scotty Van Scotty. And this is my, my co pilot here, Pet the Pet Tujin. What up? What, you got doing beer reviews over there? Yeah, you doing beer reviews over there? We're going east. We're going east, ladies and gentlemen, but a little further east than uh, where we grew up. We're going across the pan. We're doing Bath Ale's golden hair tonight, guys. There it is. Boom. <laughs> Bath Ale's. <shut> up. <laughs> Bath Ale's uh, started in 1995 in the south of England. Is a brewery that all their beers are named after rabbits, hares. Um, Actually, pretty interesting. They've got the hair and hop, the golden hair, the rare hair, wild hair, summer hair, ginger hair. Wild hair. That one speaks to me. Yeah, so, the, you know, it's a very rabbit style. Uh, Is this a beer. cask style beer, Pat? I don't know. We got this, uh, we got this from this feel, your sister, right? I feel like it is. From your sister? Yeah. 4.4 ABV. Very much a session style beer, which we. Uh, came to expect from beers from across the pond. Pop it open. Three glasses! Thank you, Dave, from tailgating shop, tailgating ideas .com. Full flavored light ale. So, you know, this is kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> God, dude, you gotta love this. The UK government guidelines do not regularly exceed for men three to four units daily. Units. <laughs> and women two to three units daily. Actually has a picture of a girl back here that says no go if your prego goes. She is pregnant, isn't she? Which should be a no-brainer for most people, but you never know. Just knocking back a pint. <laughs> Just all. Pour that thing out. Let's uh, let's move on into this. You know, that's what I did enjoy about reviewing foreign beers is is the way that they phrase things. Like turbo liters, like four point <laughs> four comma two three turbo liters from oh, Skull. Comma. You're all four point two. I'm all. Oh, oh, that's a comma. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this guy has been chilling in my refrigerator for about a month and a half now. We just never got around to it. I've got a bunch of stuff in there from Italy, right? Is that what it was? The yeah. Peronis and the other ones? But I think Peroni you can get. You can't get Peroni here. It's just, it's been in there for so long, and we've looked at it and looked at it and looked at it, and finally tonight we're like, you know what? It's time. I mean, we... It's we, going down. We went overkill. Meet me in the club. We went overkill with it, um... Because it was just like beer after 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 beer without any super light beers from across the pond too. And you know we kind of missed our hops and our crazy like multi. Here we go. Go. We brew golden hair using floor malted Maris Otter barley and abruptly named Golden Hops. They're saying that this is golden hair is a bursting with flavor with a U, and brimming with condition. It's smooth yet dry. Wonderfully fresh and delightfully zesty. Well, I gotta love the way those British word things. I, I like it. to. I like what they had to say about it. I'm gonna give this on a, a level of clarity, one through ten. One Bud Light, ten Rasputin. A one. One it is. Look at the zero size head. of those bubbles. Zero head, minimal carbonation. Mega bubbles in there, dude. This is probably this. This would Are you saying bubbles from like the bottom of the glass? Yeah, like you don't have any. I have, I have none. And I have a couple and they're giant. They're like the size of peach balls. Oh wow, you just got rid of all of them. <laughs> there they go. Well, you know, there it is. I, I'm going to go ahead Ooh, and guess it. Interesting. Stop here, it smells like... That's a really malty head to it. Mine smells like a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> is that just my glass? Or does your beer kind of smell like a hamster too? Mine kind oh, of no, smells like a hamster. Out. It cleared out. That was Did just it? the first smell. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> it smelled like funky alfalfa Dude, smell. It smelled like that cedar, like the. All right. This smells. This has got like a honey slash malty kind of flavor to it. I I like honey beers. You know, I liked Did Dead Guy Ale. No, I haven't. I like Dead Guy Ale. I like Dogma from Brew Dog. I like those really honey kind of things, and yeah. this is kind of speaking to me right now. Oh, whoa, I got a hamster whiff on that one. It's definitely in there. If you guys have ever owned a hamster or any small rodent in a cage that had like <laughs> fluffy stuff in the bottom, this kind of smells like what after they pee on it. 
<laughs> it's totally like the, the post post small animal urine. Wow. So it's yeah. like one of those like, hey Billy, can you uh, clean out the cage? Yeah, because it smells of, like uh, it smells like golden smells hair. like golden hair it's right now. Smelling like golden hair up in here. Uh, See, but now it's back to normal though. What the hell? I just got another whiff of hamster wet cedar. <laughs> can we just call it golden hair? <laughs> Right. Well, they actually use rabbit urine in this year. Oh, weird. Yeah. Gold How appropriate. <laughs> Golden hamster. <laughs> Golden hamster shower. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, yeah, you guys are going to give us crap for that one. Sorry. Whatever. Ah, good. Just going off of what it smells like. I'm sorry. It smells like hamster. It does. <laughs> oh, goodness. Really, um, dude, the flavor has a really malty kind of earthy kind of flavor to it to me. Yeah. This is an insanely easy beer to drink. I almost drank the whole thing right then and there. Get old Nemo on it, huh? Yeah, it was. Phrase of the night, by the way. Getting Nemo on it. If you guys have ever seen Getting Nemo, it's when the shark smells the blood and his eyes go black and get all big like this. It Sometimes... Happens. People get into that zone. I've seen Scott do a couple times where you, you know, it's you like maybe you take a bigger you drink. Take than the, you, think. you take that first sip, and then you take the second one, and then it, it, your <laughs> eyes is just like, yes, yes, I'm doing this. So don't get all Nemo on it. Okay, let's this beer. I'm so trying to. I'm just saying it's a very, very easy beer to drink. You Almost blows through this thing yeah. right off the bat. <laughs> okay, so easy to get really into. Light carbonation. To no Multi flavor, super like Scott's saying, like it, it, extremely easy. Like the the lack of carbonation makes this almost just like you could pound this in a second. I.e. Shotgun ability was ten good. One nothing. Ten's awesome. I give that one a ten. You think you shotgun this thing? Oh, all day long. You know what's weird? I could shotgun Guinness better than I could do Bud Light. <clears throat> really? The carbonation, Bud Light. Instantly gave me like ice cream headache. That's what's probably so good about this is it's almost flat. Ooh, I would what have types of food would you pair this with? Heavy fried food, one hundred percent. Shepherd's Seriously? pie, yeah, absolutely. Um, anything... Shepherd's pie, fried food. Well, shepherd's pie isn't, but heavy fried food, okay. shepherd's pie. I was thinking Common. like wings or like something, but anything, anything, anything a little greasy, anything a little heavy on the gut. I think this would be an awesome beer because it's so. So not heavy. for what reason? Just to counterbalance that kind of yeah, it's like it's something that you could sit there and you could eat like really greasy hot wings that are really really hot and wash it back with this beer. It's a great beer to drink heavy foods with. You I've could be macking a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, like a big one, and just be like, you know what? Cool. I'm just gonna knock back a couple beers while I eat this sandwich. I've read that in the pairing world, you know, obviously opposites attract sometimes. Mm -hmm. But in the same idea, if you're having something really big. Robust and spicy, a big pale ale might be something good to work with too, to help extend you, you know, accentuate that, I that think flavor. It, and then, and I agree, but I think it depends so on this where. This being flat, though, I mean, like something like mashed potatoes, maybe like you know, anything that's going to sit heavy, really starchy, really like so mashed potatoes, but a gravy, just something that's going to sit heavy. Mm -hmm. I mean, not something that like say you were eating a a halibut and it had like it was almond crusted halibut. You know, with a Bernays sauce or something, you're just like, wow, you know, it's all really light, a lot of flavors going on, and that's when you probably want that really complex beer with it, as where this one, you're going to want something that's not... You know, I'm with you on that starchy yeah. comment, like something that, that that would feel heavy in your stomach, but fill you up, like something that yeah. loads energy. Yeah, exactly, it's where the, and this beer is just going to, it's just going to complement that, and let you keep eating that huge gut bomb food, but not get in the way, as where like... You don't want to eat mashed potatoes, shepherd's pie with a stone. It's just too Not much. a fan of the smell. The flavor is really? so-so. <laughs> really? You don't like hamster? <laughs> weird. Hamster urine? That's so weird. No, but with this, though, I mean, it, it, the beer itself is something that, you know, it's an easy beer to drink. I like it. I do enjoy this. And because of that, one, the bottom ten at the top, I'm going to give this guy a 6.5. Yeah, I'm right there with that. Six and a half is awesome. Awesome beer. Really easy to drink. This is very, like, extremely light. Like, you, oh man. Super easy to pair with a big, heavy meal. It's awesome. That's exactly what it, I think this beer came to the planet for. was like, hey, look, I got a little bit of flavor on the beer. So don't I feel like you have to switch to water because I got you covered. Done. Three glasses. You just walked through the beer's gone bad. Where the beer flows like wine. Guys, I'm Pat. This is Scott. Check in next time because we'll be doing something crazy. Who 
knows what it will be. Yeah, remember, get out there too and drink a craft beer. Keep it craft. Or keep it to yourself. Good night, boys and girls. Hey!